Hello, welcome to another video. This time we're doing a review of the Ultra Monster series, really old scale. Max Eliking or Eliking or Steve. So yeah, a bit of a throwback review, first on this channel so far. I'm sure I'll review some more original scale figures in the future. Or not, I don't know. But you know what? I'm feeling romantical. I'm feeling romantical. So here I am reviewing an old ass figure. By the way, I've had that clip saved on my computer for god knows how long and just never had the chance to use it, so... <laughs> that's why I said that. But anyway, here we have the figure, so Max Elliking here. Technically first appeared in Ultraman Max, but the regular Elliking actually does appear in a Showa era Ultraman series called Ultra 7. I'm sure you guys would have heard of it because uh, it's a bit of a fan favorite series. And of course he does appear in Ultraman Taro as well, but we don't like to talk about that one because... What uh, is this? What a hideous suit that was. And he does appear in many other series, you know, Ultra Mebius, Orb, I think, Jeed, maybe, Tiger, I think, Decker for sure. My memory's a bit shit, sorry. Uh, but here he is compared to the original Ella King design. As you can see, I have the figure right here. I totally didn't sell it or anything, so, you know, this isn't like an image I took off the internet or anything. This is actually the physical figure I have in my hand right now. But it is quite similar to regular Ella King, but in my opinion, much cooler. And I believe this is a little bit closer to his concept design from way back in the day of Ultra 7. Um, because I believe the concept Elliking was a white color instead of a cream color, so that's cool. I much prefer the white, by the way. So already I am kind of regretting on reviewing uh, Elliking because this tail and this small review space is uh, not a good combination. Anyway, here's the face, and there is some paint transfer scuffs around the body, like here and there. Um, this is a pretty old figure. Whoopsie daisy! And believe me, this figure was way worse before. It took me like a couple of hours to clean this figure, and uh, yeah, it still has a lot of spots, but uh, it is what it is. It's an old figure, so sorry about that. But here's the face, and yeah, it's been nicely sculpted, nicely painted. It does have a creepy looking face. It's kind of funny looking as well, but uh, it is nicely sculpted and very realistic, by the way. Paint apps is quite nicely done as well. Sculpted detailing is quite nice. It does have a big scuff on the back of the neck there, but I did have some grey paint on the uh, back there as well. I quite love how much paint these um, older figures had, way better than what we get nowadays. And there's the body again, really nicely sculpted and painted. Well, yeah, there we have his little stubby legs, kind of looking a bit funny. But yeah. Also has these weird uh, holes on the end of his foot. And then there's his tail, which, good lordy, that is a long ass tail. It's a real pain in the ass to display this figure, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I do prefer the original scale Elliking, how the uh, tail goes off the side. It's a little bit easier to display, um, but the uh, Max Elliking just pretty much goes straight back. All right. My man Cornflake got the spirit. <laughs> he a little confused, but he got the spirit. Anyway, when it comes to the articulation, the head moves side to side like this. And the arms do rotate. Both arms. Both legs also rotate. And the tail kind of rotates, not really. It's a bit of a weird um, joint, like it's not meant to. Uh, it is a separate piece, but the way it's molded, it's a bit of an oval shape, so it's not really meant to, you know, rotate, but it can, so. I'm going to count as a point of articulation, so yeah, when it comes to articulation, it's pretty limited, but that's to be expected with these uh, vinyl figures. They're not meant to be Leno like, you know, SH Figuas level of articulation. So let's move on to some size comparisons. Anyway, here is compared to the Arc Nemesis Ultraman 7. Huh? There's Ultra Max. Another Max Kaiju, I completely forgot what his name was, so for this video I'm going to call him George. And the most recent figure to be released in the Ultra Hero series, the Ultraman Blazer. But anyway, that's with the video, I'm over here, like, subscribe, what do, like, next time, bye.